What's going on, guys? I just wanted to make a quick video and uh, pretty much uh, just talk about how hyped I am for UFC uh, this coming Saturday with uh, Ronda Rousey and Sarah McMahon. Um, it wasn't until like you know a few hours ago I was going through um, Ronda Rousey's Instagram account and she put a picture, pretty much like you know like a tail of the tape. Um, and I was looking at that and I was just like, holy crap! Like on top of the stuff that's already you know out there and it's they're facts you know as far as you know the last win that a mcmahon had was last year against i think sheila gaff uh the sunnen and john jones show i believe i can't remember what number that show was but that was like almost a year ago um that was her last fight and of course we know rousey's last win came against uh, her rival tate <clears throat> Misha Tate, uh, this past December, so, you know, that those things are out there, you know, we know about the, uh, how, oh, sorry, I had the TV on here, we know about, you know, how each, each of these ladies, uh, meddled in the Olympics, and, you know, we know all that stuff, but I was really just looking at the numbers and statistics behind this, and I could not help but get more pumped for this fight, I didn't think it was possible for me to get more amped about this fight, but I did just by looking at the numbers, that's how much this fight is, you know imp how important this fight is for me as, as a fan and um, I, this is funny because you know I'm a big round the Rousey fan but when she fought Liz Carmouche I didn't know a lot about Liz Carmouche at the time so I was kind of like I don't mind Liz Carmouche so it's like whatever I not a big fan of Misha Tate so there's that but this one's interesting because I have I'm a, I'm a not a big Sarah McMahon fan but like, when I hear her name, I'm like, oh, well, I want to check that fight out, you know, like, she's someone that I'm starting to grow more fond of, so this is an interesting fight for me as a fan, from that aspect as well, just because I'm not 100% on, uh, on uh, Rousey's side, and going back to this picture here, she put, around the Rousey put a picture of uh, UFC 170 by the numbers, and let's check out some of these numbers here, significant strike percentage, you got 2.6% for around the Rousey, 25 for Sarah McMahon, um, and then you got the um, significant strikes, 60% for um, for uh, accuracy for Ronda Rousey. You got 51% for Sarah McMahon. You got a, a tented, attempted punches per minute, 1.8 for Ronda Rousey, 1.6 for Sarah McMahon. And then you have a uh, um, uh, strike defense. You got 56% for Ronda Rousey, 54% for Sarah McMahon. And this is where it got interesting right here. Takedown accuracy. 80%, a whopping 80% for Sarah McMahon, as opposed to 70% for Ronda Rousey. Takes down defended, 100% for Sarah McMahon, as opposed to 60% for Ronda Rousey. That 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 one right there blew my mind. Like, I did not know it was that big of a spread as far as takedown defense. And then, of course, you have the submissions average, and you have other stuff like, you know, the weight, high, and all that. But point is, this fight is huge, and it, 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 every time there's a big women's fight, I get, I, I, I can't help but at least chuckle because of, you know, Dana, comment, Dana White's comments once upon a time ago of how women would never fight in UFC. And here we are, a big show coming up this weekend, big fight, features two female fighters. I'm, I'm really pumped, and I, again, with these type of fights, it's similar to the, um... What's a fight that I can tell you from at least my perspective? Like Sun and Silva 2. Um, I wanted Sun and to win for many reasons, but one of them was so we can get the rubber match, and it would be huge, huge if uh, Silva was going back for the title. This one, it's similar to that aspect. If Ronda Rousey, Rousey loses, it'll be their first loss in the UFC, and it would be huge because, you know, everyone's expecting from her, from her to go on a rampage for at least two or so more fights just because of how dominant she is. But if Sarah McMahon wins, the whole bantamweight division landscape changes. Or would, would the fight, you know, cause or preempt another rematch uh, between these two ladies? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just pumped for this show. God knows the Machida fight this past Saturday did nothing for me. So I'm pumped for this show. I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Who are you guys rooting for? What do you guys, what do you guys think? What's the outcome of this fight? Let me know. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching.